Hello everybody and welcome to yet more this perpetual testing. Today we have a very long GLaDOS line, so uh by an, oh wait to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Uh-huh. Results were highly informative. They, they could not. Luck. Good luck. Okay, thank you very much, GLaDOS, for your false good luck. Um yeah, as I was about to say. Today we're going to be having a play of Transitional Phase, and this is Sphere 1 of a 2-Sphere Map Pack Combo Pack created and recommended by Dave Mackey. So a very big thank you to Dave Mackey for what should be two maps. Uh, what is that? What is that? Is that my... No. That's not my cereal. That's an imposter cereal packet. What is that doing? I refuse to allow that's existence. How do I get to it? It's very nicely displayed, though. Um, yeah, according to the description, this is a science fair closer to modern aperture than normal. Hence, I guess, some of the newer looking tech in here. Some things look rather out of place, including... What is that very faint field I see fizzling before me? A blue phase field type thing. I don't recognise that. I've just noticed a portal gun over there, though. Which is great, because I don't actually have one. Um, oh, auto portals. A portal gun. Okay, we'll get to that in a sec. What is this uh, bluey purple field? I don't know what that one does and I don't immediately recognize it. We've also got a green fizzler field here, which I do remember after rigorous testing and failure that uh, Aperture Hardware cannot pass through there, but we can. Yes, don't, don't slide me to death. No, we can go through there quite happily. Aperture Cubes and the like cannot, which doesn't explain why the portal gun can pass through or the long full boots, but that's the sort of thing we don't question, do we, Valve? Right, fine, uh, how do I get to that portal gun tucked away over there? Um, one. One would indicate starting here, three. Three would indicate we're missing a rather large step. That's a combo of pistons that look like it's designed to kill me. Okay, we'll play with that when we get to it. Uh, let's go through one then. One takes us to two, which is down here. Uh, there's also a cube here. We probably want that button, probably for a new cube. Yes, that is in fact for a new cube via vac tube delivery. Still really, really want to get at that and find out exactly what's going on there and what this imposter brand of cereal is. Yeah, not seen that before. Intriguing. Uh, so cube, cube to somewhere. Button down there. That would probably be a place to stick a cube. Usually that's where you start in this game. Let's drop down to here. I'm guessing you indicate two, right? Two is come do this button and get hold of your portal gun once you get the white fizzler field out of the way. So is that you to do both of those things? Uh, we have upgraded. We've upgraded past mono portals straight to duo portals, apparently. So can I replace the blue? I can. Right, so you stay there. What is this? Broken elevator. Broken elevator panel in case you forget to take the cube down there by the looks of it also gets you back to a place you can actually go back there from although you've also got that one still none of this gets us anywhere closer to discovering the imposter cereal brand that's that's really gonna bug me now because i want to know what that is and i got a feeling it's decorative yeah okay we should probably get to the other stuff so free free is that large set of very clearly designed to kill you type pistons so let's go play with that and see if i need to create a new killed by icon um, is this just to get the portal gun? I think this is just to get the portal gun, but I'm going to leave you there for the moment anyway, whilst we investigate things over there, because I didn't think that passage of portals through. Right, free. Free is this. So if I get up on you, are you going to immediately crush me, or are we going to get to see what happens when you get pushed back through a portal via that? Uh, no, you are a non-panelable surface up here. Which would kind of suggest you are designed for killing. It'd be quite fun to see. Uh, the rest of the science appears to be all the way over there, including our exit, which needs three things, square X and undetermined. Faith plate for this kind of direction here. Deadly, deadly lasers. Uh, angled panels of interest there kind of lining up that way. Another crushed elevator panel, laser reflection cube. Up in that compartment kind of thing. Tubes, white fizzlers there, lasers, blah, blah, blah. Where do we go from this very high perch of pistons now? 
Um. Oh. Okay, well that makes sense. You should fling me over in that direction and we probably want a cube. But cubes can't go through you. So cube is probably supposed to travel through you. So let's go get that cube first, shall we? Can I see you from here? Just about around the tube. I said around the tube. I said around the... Fine, I'll do it from a more logical angle. That should make that far easier. Let's go get this cube then. Which is waiting for us down here. I think this was literally a button just to get hold of your portal gun. So blew up on you. Cube, you come with me. And it looks like we're going to use a long drop here to launch this cube. Science wood in that kind of direction. Science wood. I meant ward. Science ward. But since that's not really a word, that's why that didn't work. Uh, let's do... not you. Let's do you then. You. 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 I said you. Yep, fine. Uh, that will probably launch this cube somewhere good. I'm guessing a way I'm not intended to go, right? Since deadly lasers there. Cubes aren't affected by deadly lasers because they're special. Let's put you on there then and... Are you going to go where I want you to? Or are you going to end up in the goo? Yep, science wood in that kind of direction. Science wood. I actually quite like the word science wood. Um, you go there then since we can pass through those quite happily. I will realign you upon flight. Launches me over this bit to science over here. Through a laser, laser apparently doesn't burn. Here's our exit guarded by another one of these just blocks everything white fizzlers. Uh, what else is going on here then? Faith plate probably just gets you back over there. We can have another look at this fizzler field of blue kind of purpliness here. What do you do? Oh, you just to block portals. Do you entirely block portal placement? Apparently. Where is that one from? I don't recognize that. Is that a Rexura kind of thing? I'll admit now I've never actually played Rexura other than the first few levels. It got too complicated. Uh, there is also a laser receiver up there. Panel this side of all that. That will probably let me get up to here with you. Up here we have a button. A button that does... A button that does it itself. A button that does this elevator. In conjunction with these things, apparently. One. Well, one was just using the auto portal, wasn't it? Okay, what else do you need then? You don't indicate what your things are. Where do your various ant lines go? Uh, you go to there. What's going on in there, then? There's a piece of glass in the top of that science podium lined up with a laser receiver there. So, to get you to do whatever, I'm guessing there's a laser emitter tucked in there, maybe? That would kind of make sense. So, to get you to do that, you, 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 uh, this, but not this. Okay, fine. I feel like we're not getting up there anytime soon. Uh, what else is going on over that side of the room then? That's where we got a portal gun. Everything else is tucked behind the glass there. There's a button over there. Is that a cube receptor button? I think that's a cube reception button over there. Can I get to that stuff somehow? Yes, if we had whatever this is. Probably a set of stairs. So to have whatever this is... You go down there into the goo. Uh, there's another layer down below here, right? Somewhere the cube went also out. Ah, the cube went into this very clearly designed for catching a cube type structure here. So this is the cube catching place. Cool. Uh, what else have we got going on down here? Then we've got another faith plate. You just get me back up a level. Have fun you do. Soaring through the air without a care in the world. I do. I was hoping you'd do the uh, eagle piloting a blimp line. Um, what else is down here then if we avoid the faith plate? We've got a button. This button gets rid of a white blocking fizzler here. And what else is going on in this aquarium? Just a pedestal button by the looks of it. And there's a another panel we can use down here. Also laser receiver there marked X. Was that one of the things up there? That might have been one of the things up there. Okay, well, cube, cube sit on button, we go press button. Take you out of your specially designed cube catchment area. Stick you up on here. Is this also doing something else? This was doing... Where does that line go? Is that the one we were looking at before? 
That doesn't appear to connect to what I thought it would. Uh, maybe if we go press this instead, we'll get some sort of progress. Press upon you. You. You, I think, are the one I was looking at before. So is this just a cube button just to get at that button by the looks of it? Uh, in that case, we probably want to take it back up with us. Flings us up here where we have been delivered a set of convenient steps. Convenient steps take us up into the laser, which apparently does, in fact, burn. Didn't on the first flyby, so that's new. Uh, up here. Large white fizzler of blocking. Square and one. I thought one was the auto portal placement. Or is this that thing that used to confuse me? Because I always used to think that w the one, two, and three dots were, you know, things to actually connect. This is one, this is one, this is two, this is two. You know, like the X's, the squares and stuff. But I was uh, later correctly informed that they are actually, you know, do this first, then do this, then do that. But in this case, I'm guessing dot is actually also a connection thing. So blocking this, what does blocking this do? Does that swap these laser emitters around? Onto you. Uh, yes, in fact, it does do what I thought it did, except backwards. Laser emitter in there. So that's done half at least of up there. So what else was needed for up there? There's something else needed up there, wasn't there? Let's go back to it and see if this button actually does anything now. No, this button still does not do things. So one, yeah, dot. So in this case, it is just dot rather than start here, one. So we need a cube to sit in that button there so that we can get to another cube. Uh, there is an angled panel. And we've already learnt about playing with angled panels in this map, haven't we? Yes, you're very clearly for flinging in that kind of direction. Um, we need to use that again, right? That's the only high fall kind of place. Unless I'm missing any other high fall kind of places. No. Also, I don't think we're getting anywhere near that imposter serial anytime soon. So I'll check that out in no clip later. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's go up to you then. If we do orange on you, take you through with me. That line's up there. And we get a laser reflection cube up the top there at some point, apparently. So swap those around when we get to it. Uh, for the moment, I just need you to land me on this precarious podium. It's just on the podium, just on the podium with the cube. Cube. Well, the cube didn't come to. Where's the cube gone now? Should be somewhere down there. I've, I've lost the cube. Fine, let's do this fling anyway then by repositioning the blue. And just so see if there's anything else going on that side. Flings me over into the giant white fizzler. Down to here. Where's my cube gone? My cube has gone there. Yeah, so I need that cube to come over here and comply and fly with me in exactly the same way. Can we get out of here now? Uh, there is a big hole here, so yes. Uh, what's there? Let's put the blue back up. Can't from here. And we can't through that. So we've got to go around with you via that one faith plate to be able to get an angle to do this again. And this time, hope the cube actually just, you know, comes with us. Yeah, because we're going to have to get this cube to do the job over there before we can do anything up there, right? So that does make sense. Let's put the blue back up on you. Orange still on the angular panel. And try and get you to actually, you know, come with me this time. You, you go in there. You, you go in there. Yeah, good, good cube. Yes, whoa. This would be a good time to use quick save because of things like that. Okay, fine. Uh, we got blue up on the ceiling. Let's put the blue on you. And I really, really do need you to come with me. Or actually, why don't you go do this first by yourself? Over there, into you. Please don't go anywhere stupid. What did I just tell you not to do? Fine, I'll have to do it by holding it then. Let's go get that back. Go around once again to use this faith plate. And yeah, I can't trust the cube to do that by itself, so I'll have to carry it through. Chucks me back up to here. Put the blue back on you. Wait, is there a better place to drop this? There's no other, like, flat on the floor panels to use, is there? Unless we did it from over there and it'd be less. 
then why is that so high? It's clearly so high for us to do it, right? So let's try and get you to cooperate. You go through first. You first. Then me. Onto here. Thank you. Don't. Work, don't, don't do not do that cube. Uh, blue. Back on you. This time, let's use quick save again anyway. Grab you and you just come with me. Into the white fizzler thingy here. You sit in there. Uh, that has done a variety of things up there, a variety of things which should be enough things for us to actually go do something up there now, right? Which means we've got to go around again and use this one faith plate to chuck us back up onto this level of science. Use you and you into here, and then now do you have everything you need to ascend me? You do. All right, up here is the laser reflection cube, which basically needs to go do the exact job that's being done over there. Is there an easy way to replace you now? Uh, I can't see that angle panel from over there because of science and glass. Glass is a form of science, so we basically got to do exactly what we just did again. The blue... Oh, it's around there. Put the blue back up upon you. Go through this orange again, and we're going to swap the cubes. Uh, hold on, we actually need a portal to do that. Then try and get you to cooperate this time through here. Thank you. Always sketchy. Uh, let's might as well quick save with that as well. Orange is on the angle. Blue goes down here. Take you. You are going to go do scientific laser redirection work over there. You sit there for the moment. You come off of that one. You go into uh, there. So what was the other stuff needed for the exit? One more piece of science is required for the exit. Uh, I think we might as well take this back up to the top. Or is this this button as well here? I didn't actually work out what the other thing this button did, did I? Have to hear that appears to be absolutely everything we need to exit Science Fear 1 and continue our journey in the transitional phase. Still no idea what the imposter serial was, but I don't think we're ever going to find out because this elevator has taken us directly into transitional phase Sphere 2, the second sphere of our two-sphere map pack combo, which appears to involve light bridges and conveyance beams in opposing directions. Uh, also, the exit's literally right there, isn't it? Like, literally right there. The most taunting of all exit placements. Why is that cube delivery tube on the floor? I'm guessing we're going to have to extract it with conveyance beams, maybe? But look at this. Look, look at this. Look at, look at this. If I wasn't so scared of falling in the goo and having to restart the map... Come on, any normal human would just literally step over and hop in there. But no, no, no. Shell has to be compliant and follow the AI that wants her dead. All uh, right, let's actually do some of this, shall we? We've got conveyance beams over here with, well, I should ride in it according to this signage. That's pretty normal. We've got a button that turns it off, turns off both of them. Fizzler up the top there, which appears to block the passage of the blue conveyance beam. Random panel here, anything tucked around like in the last one? And one of these large floor sensor panels, which just acknowledges the existence of a cube. Uh, over in this direction, past the tauntingly close exit, and a load more glass blocking you from, you know, just getting there easily, we've got a bunch of deadly, deadly lasers, fizzler, and an automatic elevator that takes us straight past the deadly, deadly lasers. So... Not all that deadly, you can just go around them. Uh, in here is another conveyance beam emitter. Panel. Panel that lines up through the deadly, deadly lasers. And there appears to be a cube delivery tube above a bunch of suspended fizzlers there as well. This time we're going to need two things for our exit, once again blocked by the annoying white fizzler. Which is just here to stop you. Uh, okay, so, two things. Both on the ceiling. Well, there's conveyance beams, but usually you need a panel like this one. So, something different, I guess? Something with conveyance beams, because, well, 
There's a bunch of them. Let's go this way, completely avoiding the deadly deadly lasers, and see what we can do with this button over here. This button over here is apparently a cube delivery tube button. What for the one down there? Uh, that's new, or at least new to me. Really? Floaty cubes. Okay. Okay, that kind of explains that room over there only having one panel on the floor, but floaty cubes? Floaty cubes. There's now floaty cubes in Aperture. That'll be fun. That's a whole bunch of new physics to learn. Um, you get carried directly straight into that fizzler and destroyed. So you have somewhat normal cube properties, even though you defy gravity somehow. Sure, sure. I'm guessing that's another uh, one of these user-created packages. I do like that B-Mod is introducing all this like wildly new stuff. Pretty much anything's possible in this game now. So let's not question physics anymore. Uh, what do we actually want to do then? How do we get this other cube? This other cube here. I don't see any ant line connections, so it's probably that button there. Probably that button there that I completely missed when we were in here a minute ago. So via you, up into you. And you're the cube delivery that we're looking for, yes? Yes, straight into the fizzler. However, conveyance beams and a panel that looks pretty much perfectly lined up for those. So who can we use? Uh, the pulling one is actually the only panel we can use over there. So let's put a portal on you. Let's put a corresponding portal upon you. And this should quite happily deliver us a cube. It does. Okay, that does not have a problem with deadly deadly lasers. We know that from the previous map. So we can go ahead and grab you out of here. Uh, then I guess we just want you to ride up, right? Although we do need the floaty cube of magic in here as well. So it'd actually make more sense if we went over there as well. So we can use our new cube to press the big floor sensor button type thing. So let's do the orange on you then. Ride through this way. Takes us back here, rather awkwardly stuck between the two conveyance beams. You can sit on here for the moment. Why would I need to turn you off? Or do I just need to drop the floaty cube to me? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Because how am I going to drop a floaty cube to me? Where do you go if you're not blocked by anything? Just going to sit up there. Well, bye floaty cube. Oh, he has floated away into the never. Yes, some, some of these things aren't quite supposed to work with the game, obviously. Uh, we want to, well, acquire you, right? We need to get rid of this fizzler, which I'm guessing is you. Yep, that's that fizzler out the way, so this should just deliver me said floaty cube. Or at least a new one. The other one's long gone. Uh, you're going to go all the way over there. Will you come down to me when you eventually get over here? You're going to awkwardly roll around there and go somewhere. You're already doing things over in there, aren't you? Well, that's nice of you. Uh, we need this cube in there as well, don't we? So just get a new one. Probably just get a new one of these, right? Yeah. So why do I have the ability to turn you off? Did I just destroy the one in there? Did I just destroy that floaty cube? Uh, where is that floaty cube now? It should be on the ceiling. It's over there, quite happily resting against one of the exit buttons. It knows what it's needed for. So just get a new one of them over in here, right? Am I missing something that feels a bit too obvious? And usually when it feels a bit too obvious, I'm missing something. Oh, are you turning that on? Okay, okay, well you turn that on as well. Although you're probably going to need to do the one over there instead. Uh, let's use these again to acquire a new cube. So one upon there, one upon there. Press upon you. You should deliver me a new one of the regular boring non-floaty cubes. So wait, these are literally the exact opposite of a weighted storage cube. They're a non-weighted storage cube. The floaty cube sounds cuter. Uh, you clearly need to be the one to do here. So let's do that one and that one, which means you now have two cubes, which means I'm going to have to go up here and reconfigure you slightly. 
Can I have that one, please? Just that one, that one, thank you. You should still do the job up there. That's not going to get awkward, is it? Okay, fine. You go do that as well. I'll try and reconfigure you so you don't do that this time. You go that side. You come with me over here. And since you have no weight properties, in fact, you're the complete opposite, you should just go do that. Which gets rid of this white fizzler and takes us to the exit that previously taunted us with being ever so close. Um, Yeah, that's it, isn't it? That was Transitional Phase Sphere 1 and Sphere 2 created and recommended by Dave Mackey. So a very big thank you to Dave Mackey for the both of those. If you'd like to recommend a map for me to try and play, then please go ahead and do so via the usual means. Um, yeah, I, I like those two chambers. Uh, kind of simple, but kind of fun as well. Uh, like the mix of old and new tech in the science spheres of yesteryear in the first chamber. And of course, the floaty cubes. Who, who couldn't possibly like a floaty cube? Which is actually kind of weird, because when you think about it, if you've normally got floaty cubes, it would suggest something is very, very wrong with your diet. Unless, of course, you're a wombat. Thank you very, very much for watching. Until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, catch you later. <laughs>